Hello and welcome to the weekly free instant tournament. Today I've got uh, Justin Howard here with me. Hey, how you doing? Uh, so we'll uh, just get right in. So there's an eight board match point tournament and an interesting problem here. Yeah, three no trumps is definitely out of the uh, question because partner's never really going to have good enough diamonds to to make nine tricks and no trumps. So that sort of rules out. They could have something like ace king jack to seven diamonds because the robots are really conservative. But even still, you're still going to need diamonds three two with the queen on the side, which is what's that about thirty four percent. So that doesn't sound like a great idea. If you're going to be game, the most likely game to make is going to be five diamonds. Whereas if your partner has some sort of diamond suit that can be played with one loser, then yeah. Hopefully, avoiding it, losing any other tricks in hearts, spades, and clubs. But probably on balance, it's probably right to pass. I feel like pass, but uh, the robots are really conservative. They probably have like a seven-four or something for this bidding. They just never preempt. Yeah. So. But I reckon there'll be enough people that actually do bid three no trumps and go down. Yeah. So if even if the robots are that conservative, three no trumps. Three and trumps would be reasonably good if partners say king queen jack ten to seven diamonds and one of the major suit queens. Yeah, that would make three no trumps a very good contract. Um, I think the long term winner is passing. Yeah, I was going to pass, but uh, every time I've talked myself into this sort of thing, it's <laughs> always like making thirteen. All right, here we go. Oh, score! Perfect. It's exactly what we're hoping for. Okay, so nice simple one to play. Just want to draw trumps and. Well, maybe maybe you want to try and take a club pitch first. Try and make the most number of tricks. Yeah, but then we can't pitch the heart either. Yeah. We've got a guaranteed heart pitch. So if we th play three rounds of spades pitching a club, we don't necessarily have a way of getting rid of the heart. No, but uh, there might be some squeeze options and other things along the track, but you're right, it's going to be pretty pretty hard, and that, that fails quite a lot of spades of 6 and 2. Yeah. So. I'll win it here, blocking up the suit just so it's easier to draw trumps. Yeah. And it's better to win the ace, not the king, because... Oh, wait, yeah. it's in dummy. <laughs> but if it wasn't in dummy, then uh, it's better Ooh. to win it that way. Your diamonds are good enough, so you should overtake. They're at, uh, what, 5 nil. Yep. Hmm. Ducked again. Um, I can still afford another club. Yep. Now, this is where you should be starting to be careful. So if I could, I could play a spade over another top diamond. Yeah. If that gets knocked off, though, that's not a huge issue. I think we're still going to get a huge yeah. score anyway, because everyone will be in some silly contract. Yeah, no. It's just whether you are. Okay, so West has no diamonds, but they've got like a five four four or something. Could have paid more attention to the discards. Well, they've. East led the ten of spades. West just threw away the jack, so he's almost certainly led from ten doubleton. Ten third. Ten third. Okay, so at this point, you should throw a club. Throw a club and and, and come out. Now it depends. You can either come out the king of clubs, hoping that West has the ace, and then that that will uh, do things, but. Probably doesn't matter which way you do it, which means that playing a low club has to be has to be better. Or the king of clubs and trying to run it. Um, the king might get covered any time West has the ace. Yeah, but the problem with playing the king is now you might release any squeeze on East if they have both the hearts and the ace of clubs. Doesn't so, seem that likely. No, that would give them a. 
<laughs> a lot of cards. A lot of cards. I don't think there is any squeeze, so maybe playing the king and running it is your best. So I can rough it high and draw the final trump. Yeah. Uh, so my turn's a loser, but I may as well play a diamond and see if they... Just throw something silly? Yeah. The robots don't tend to do that, but it uh, doesn't hurt. 96%! Thanks for coming. Alright, so... Three no trumps failing was the most common score, as we suggested that even though you you had a very good hand with 17 high card points, having a singleton diamond gave you basically no chance at the game contract. When you try and visualize some of their hands, it's just going to be terrible. Um, one person chose five diamonds, which, you know, that's got something yep. going for it. But uh, three no trumps pretty terrible bid a lot of the time. Someone only made ten tricks. Nine tricks. Yeah. Nine tricks, yeah. Well, they, they possibly got um, their clubs roughed. It's very easy to be very slack and over rough. Queen, when... spade, and they take the club pitch straight away. Yeah. Diamond ducked, they didn't overtake, so... So now they couldn't get back to, to the dummy without giving themselves the trump promotion. Got room at the moment, but... Uh... Yeah, it's good. Yeah, he plays a spade, he roughs. And you can't draw the uh, final trump. Oh, you can. You can, but he didn't. Ah, okay. Anyway, interesting hand to start with. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, another doozy. 5 4 4 16. Good hand, so we're just going to start with your longest suit. One's mm. made, one's two. So they've made a Q raise, so maximum passed hand. So we're just going to start with a double. You want to get partner into the uh, into the equation. If partner bids a minor, you're very happy. If partner supports your hearts later, you're happy. If partner doubles spades, you're very happy. They're not playing double here as take out of spades, but I think it's still yeah something. Ooh, partner raised three hearts. So the partner has a hand that has three hearts. hearts. Now, the fact that East has bid three spades generally would indicate the fourth spade. That says it does. Yeah. I just like how the robot bids something that is undefined for a robot. Yes. <laughs> um, I don't think we're making four hearts. So what would we need to make four hearts? Dalton Diamond, Queen Third Heart, Queen of Clubs. Well, that would probably make 11 tricks. Well, if they just lead trumps, we might not be able to rough. Yeah. I reckon four hearts is probably still the right bid. Because I reckon that any time that you're going down in four hearts, they might sacrifice some four spades to begin with. You're going to double four spades? Uh, yes. Alright, let's give it a shot. The robots don't tend to double us that much. You can't have just bid five hearts. That's nice of them. <laughs> okay, let's see what ridiculous hand comes down. So your partner with a four triple three has decided to bid. Uh... Okay, so basically we need to hope that we can get out for one down, and the clubs divide five and one. Uh, so I think we just have to rough this and probably play on diamonds. Yeah. Just working on the side suit when our other suit's terrible. Hope that they crash a diamond on her is probably your best shot. I don't think we're going to score particularly well, but there might be lots of people in... Uh, five hearts. Some more people might do it. Okay. So we stiffen for the ace of hearts now. See what happens. The nine and the seven. Um, so the, the thing that I'm a bit worried about is a club rough. Yeah. 
So we could hope for Queen Doubleton Heart and just drop that and then draw the final trump and knock out the uh, diamond. But that means that four spades also isn't making. Yeah. So. But if hearts are 4 1, we're pretty stuffed by being tapped anyway. Yeah. So I think we just have to hope for our best chance of getting out. Yeah, that's probably right. Okay, so we're down two. They just get the uh, top part when they want. Oh, three percent. Um, Basically, we're going to get 30% for uh, for defending three spades, which is where the contract would have finished. So, with the opponents bidding four spades, we were in line to get 96%. However, our partner uh, with the four triple three decided to bid five out of five. Yeah, so here's uh, someone who had the same auction as us, but then passed. Uh, so if they didn't double us in four hearts, and I don't see the person really having a double of four hearts. Well, we could have made four hearts. Yeah. Ah, uh, not if they just kept playing spades. Ah, yes, they can, they can actually force their promotion, but once they didn't... They're going, going minus 100 would have been a very big score. Anyway, on to the next sentence. 10, 12 points, 5-5 five, five in the majors. Starting with spades, the higher suit. So this is also a very interesting hand because you know that you have uh, the best hand at the table. It means that the points are very evenly spread. Now you can actually work out this means your partner probably only has 10 or 11 points. Four card raise, but with the 5-5 five, five, you're probably going to raise the game anyway. Yeah. So we have two club losers, a spade loser, have to work on the hearts at some point. So we have the two of hearts lead, which is force. The robots sometimes lead absolute garbage. Okay, so the question is, do you fly ace to protect your entries? Or do you play low and try and force out Nono. Now in this particular case, because I don't want the opponents to shift a club, I would fly ace. Because if the hearts are four and two, East almost certainly has a double to Nono. So playing low doesn't actually gain you very much. Yeah. And this this might convince them that when they So we so the queen, so let's either singleton queen or queen jack doubleton. So we only need one rough anyway. So we can draw trumps. Yep, we can draw trumps. Been ace. Um, so he has stiff. So he had stiff queen almost certainly, because otherwise he would have probably played a heart back. Yes, okay, so that's fine. Trump, king of hearts, which really the drop the singleton jack on the east. There okay. we go. And now we can pitch all our clubs away. And we haven't had to worry about the... I could be super greedy and try and lead jack of clubs to the king. Well, that's, <laughs> that's what we're going to do after we've... Uh... But that's dummy. Yeah, I don't know. See if they're sleepy. Oh, yeah. no. <laughs> Got them. Collected all the honours. So, 11 tricks. Uh, not a particularly tough hand, but uh, scored 68% for that. We were very sad to see that the Ace of Clubs was on side. So I want to pass that hand in. That's pretty pessimistic. Mm. Uh, besides that, nearly everyone's making 11 tricks. Yeah, well, move on to this next hand. Good hand. Now, typically, I, I don't like opening two clubs with two suited hands, 
because you're going to start off by opening two clubs, partner bids two diamonds, you now bid two spades, and partner is sort of put into a tough situation. So what do they do if they've got 5-5 five, five in the minors or something like that? So typically I just like opening a spade on these types of hands. And if the auction ends in one spade, it could easily be the right place to play. This hand doesn't have too much of a rebid problem, so of the two suited hands, I don't mind two clubs on this, but I'd still open a spade. And the Royals play strong jump shifts. So. Yeah, so we have to jump to three hearts because... So now we have the situation where a slam starts to become very possible. Partner's got short spade, got a heart support. You really don't need much. No. So we know that partner has 6 to 11 points. So from here, I would probably just bid 5 hearts. Let's see what that description is. The Royals played terrible conventions. Shows 18 to 21 biddable hearts. It doesn't sound exactly like what we want to do. I think I just have to bid key card. And... But if I bid key card, I'm only stopping if partner's got. I no. think they play f zero three one four. So well, if you scroll over key card, it might tell you. Nah. No. But I'm fairly sure they play zero three one four. So even if my partner shows zero, I can still ask, ask for, for the queen. queen. Alright, so let's let's start with that. At worst, you're probably going to be bidding slam on um, on a finesse. Okay, so no queen of trumps, no ace of diamonds, so leave it there. So, so we know that we're going to be probably on a finesse of the trump queen and maybe a finesse of the spade, so we'll leave it there. And sadly, partner uh, has really useful head. Mm. Probably going to uh, make slam. So, very good lead by the opponents, unfortunately. So, up with the ace. Uh, if hearts are 2-2, two, two, I'm all good. If they're 3-1, probably lose one more trick. Yep. So, that's kind of good, because some people might be in slam going down. You would have much preferred 3-1 on the other side, because that means that there was no way to get it right. Um, so here you, you can just basically claim. claim yeah. We're just going to keep playing clubs at them until they trump in. Remembering that the jack of clubs is still out there. <laughs> They're going to wait till the end. Generally, a pretty good tip is not to uh, wait when roughing in in those positions. The earlier you rough in, typically the better off you are, because any tricks that you have might run away. Alright, 64% uh, for that. So nobody took the finesse and hearts, which is good to see. Yeah. Normally you'll find a couple of pairs will take the finesse. When you have nine cards, you should typically always play for the drop, for the hearts to be two and two. With eight, you should always play for the finesse. It's the where the saying eight ever and nine never comes from. It's to do with holding eight or nine trumps missing the queen. So after halfway, we're running at 58%. And only uh, one bad board. Okay. So here we have a balanced hand, 15 Eight points. 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 So we have two options here. Option one is we can bid one no trump which is very risky if uh, our partner has no points and because we're vulnerable and they're not. That will put us into some pretty murky territory. Option two is we could double, just trying to get our hearts across and hope that partner doesn't big clubs. Or option three is we can pass. Now, I really don't like passing when, I'm, when my opponents are not vulnerable because if they just get into the auction, they can go one or two down and we're going to get an absolutely terrible score. So for me, it's between double and one no trump. And uh, I would typically double on this hand, given, yeah. the, given the fact that that has a lot less risk than bidding one no trump. And partner bidding clubs, even if they've got a five card suit, it still could be the right place to play. Yeah. But I don't mind between double and one no trump. Not a passer. I'll try one no trump. 
I I don't like the vulnerability, but uh... all right. Pass. We've set our piece. Partner hasn't been interested, so they can pass. Kind of happy that uh, went two diamonds past two spades. Pro partner probably does have clubs on this hand. If he had some hearts, he might have bid them. Yep. So now we know that partner has probably three diamonds and two spades, given that if the east hand had two or three diamonds, they would have passed two diamonds, playing in the sure fit. Now, if west had two or three spades, well, if they had three spades, they would have supported their partner straight away. And if partner had a singleton spade, it's probably likely they would have acted at some point. What are you going to lead? So typically here, I'd be leading a heart. Yeah. When I, when I hold four trumps, I like to treat it as if we're playing in no trumps. So I just lead fourth highest to my longest and strongest. Yeah. If I was slightly worried that someone might have a short heart and that to something like that, I might swing the ace of hearts. But here, east has short diamonds and west has short spades, so they're not going to have yeah. short hearts either. So let's try it. Oh, that's good. So, excellent. So let's start it off. Okay, now partners shifted a diamond. Hmm. Okay, so that means, well, they've shifted the two, so they've got the king. So that means that the declarer has the ace of diamonds. Oh. Ace, king of diamonds. So why did partners shift the two of diamonds? The robots do some strange stuff. Ah, singleton. East has, wow, three diamonds. Okay. So partner doesn't have five hearts. You wouldn't have thought because I think they could have bid two hearts here. Um, so East has three diamonds, six spades, three hearts, and one club. Partner could have four hearts. Giving them. Ah, that's East still has three, right? Yeah. So so the East hand should be a six. No, we don't want to do that. You'll we'll probably want to catch the Queen of Diamonds first. Because you don't want to get in play with that later. Yeah, I was going to cash. No. Now, can the, play ace of spades, heart to the queen. So probably here, better ace than hearts, playing the heart. Well, you don't want to play ace of hearts, heart because the west will rough. Yeah. But here, you, I would be playing some sort of spade that's big enough to get them away from dummy. So the eight of spades. Oh wait, partner's very rough low, so they have to have a bigger one. So, we want to play a spade now so that we can get all our heart tricks. I could just cash ace of spades, ace of hearts, heart. But that looks very silly when partner has the king of spades, but they really... Can they have the king of spades? That would give them king, queen to four hearts. So we had 15, dummy had so, six. So that could give east 11, 11 points with the jack of hearts, the ace king of diamonds, and the queen jack of spades. So 11 in a six card suit. Queen Jack 10 to 6. So it is possible that Park can have the King of Spades, and there's no harm to lead a low spade. There's no harm in leading the 8 either. Yes, any any spade. Just in case something strange is happening. So now we can win it and get our heart tricks. And they only have three spades left. 78%. Partner had a really good hand there. What can we make? Three clubs. Lots of clubs. So double would have been a pretty uh, pretty good action. Yeah, so some people in three clubs. And if you doubled, partner either would have been competing in hearts or clubs, both of which um, are incredibly good for you. Yeah. I think partner could have competed to three clubs anyway. Over a no trump, trump, they probably should have. They've got a 6 4, they know you've got a fit. Yeah. They've got a very offensive hand, so I think double would have worked, but I think one yeah. no trump. Both both would have worked out pretty well. Just the robot chose not to for some reason. Yeah. Anyway, lots of people let two spades mate. Ah, oh, because they would have found a um, diamond. 
Queen of Diamonds. Okay, that's not normal. Ace of Clubs, Jack of Clubs, hit you all their hearts. Ace of Hearts and Heart, and they set up, they let them have their rough. Well, their heart worked a trick. Yes. Because I've got partner to shift the diamond without any, any fear of anything bad happening. Yeah. Anyway, climbing up into rank 4 now on 62%. Bit of work to go, but a few boards. Okay, so here, pretty boring one, no trump over thing. Two clubs. So here you also sometimes have the option that if you're, if you're down in a match, you can actually bid four hearts here. With uh, three good hearts and the doubleton club, it might prevent the the club lead against three no trumps. But the normal thing to do is pass and just play three no trumps. So here, club lead's pretty scary for you. Um, so we've got four spades, two hearts is six, two diamonds is eight. Uh, I've led a club, so we can actually cover this. Just no cost. Better to play small. Yeah, because we got the seven as well. Because yeah. this might do some more. The nine might come into. Uh... Interesting. So the seven was good enough. <laughs> um, okay, so that typically means. I have no idea what that typically means. <laughs> no, this is not a common situation. There's the robots being robotic here. Mm. But I feel like untangling the spades and then. And we want to we want to lose a diamond to the east hand. Yeah, I could try leading a low diamond up now. I think that's probably best. If West doesn't put in one on the queen, jack, or ten, I just put the eight in. Yep. How rude! I could also try leading a diamond back, and if the queen appears, duck it. But we want to untangle spades first. I think that's what we're going to do next. Throw the nine. Yeah. So this gives me an entry back to the eight, assuming that they're not four one. Ace of clubs, and we have the rest of the tricks now, because we preserved the eight. Oh, and we get the beer card. Yep. Right back to my hand, and now I have to get rid of that eight of diamonds that I preserved so hard. Diamond. It's diamonds. That should be pretty good. 75%. That seems very low. Ah, uh, there's Queen Doubleton Heart as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so with the Ace of Clubs offside, Ace should probably put in the Ten of Clubs. They should have put in the Ten. And I would have played Ace of Clubs in a club. You cash out, and on the way through, you'd make four heart tricks, four spades, two diamonds, and a club. Yeah. So sadly, the. Uh, the heart position wasn't good for us. No. Anyway, 75%. I'll take it. Climbed into rank 2. Good. Alright. Nice unbalanced hand with 11 points. So what this means is that the points are... 11, 10, so 10, 9. Yeah, 11, 11, 11, 9, 9. Wait, 11, just 10, 10, 9. Just using the knowledge that... Uh, in this tournament, we always get the best hand at the table. Which actually means for this hand, you should actually open three clubs. Because the chances of you having a game are very minimal, yeah. because your partner only has nine or ten points, eleven at best, and this means that the opponents with only ten or eleven points won't be able to make a take at double. So three clubs will likely win the auction. Yeah. This bet. Playing normal bridge, I'd open this one club every day. Yeah, there's a very one, normal one club opening. Now there's actually a, a slight temptation to double this. Knowing that your partner's got some points? Again, knowing that your partner's got some points, you've got the king, queen of hearts, the ace of clubs, you've got some good defense, a singleton diamond. All right, let, let's see how this goes. Whoa, nice lead, partner. That's good. I like the uh, Ten of Clubs shift, so now you can play a low Club. one, getting a rough. Ooh. Partner from Queen Ten shifted the... Still the okay, they're still in trouble. Yeah, they're still in trouble, but partner hasn't done very well. 
Okay, so partner has the king. So now we have two options. We can either rough this and play a club trying to get the trump promotion, or we can pitch. Now, I think that roughing it and playing a club is better. Yeah, that's what I wanted to do. It's not often that you want to rough in front here when they just play a low one, but... Because the is going to need to do quite a lot of stuff to... Oh. Okay. Partner has made a particularly odd lead. And because partner didn't follow through with their lead, the opponents made their contract. Always cold, though. Yeah. Lots of people doubling four spades, though. What'd they do? Uh, people who opened one club. Their partner doubled it. So partner with ace-queen to seven diamonds decided to randomly lead the ace of diamonds, diamonds. Then not give us a rough. Yep. Which was very, very poor. If they just started off with the Queen of Clubs, the opponents have a very good shot at going down. So we get two diamonds, club, Queen of Clubs, King Ace, diamond to the Queen, Ace of Diamonds, another diamond, they have to rough high. Well, you can just play trumps. Yeah. So, so it's um, Queen of Clubs, we win, play a trump. Your partner actually needs to lead a trump on the go to give it any sort of problems, but declare would most likely go down because the normal play would just be to basically play a diamond, get a trump, play a diamond, get a trump, and then lose control. How do they make it after? Oh, they end play west. Yes. They end play north. north. Yeah. So if we lead a trump, they, they win it win. in their hand, ace of hearts, rough of heart. Spade to the, the king, king rough, rough a heart, a club up. And then at some point they just exit with a diamond to north. Yep. So, most likely if partner didn't lead a ace of diamonds, they would likely go down. Alright. One club pass. Um, just bid my spades now. Yep. Natural? Okay, good. Just looks like 3 no. Yes, you really want 3 no played from your partner's hand, which is why having a natural. Natural diamonds didn't seem the best option here. No. Anyway. Because now either minor suit lead is coming through your partner, but. Naturally, they just let a uh, <laughs> spade. So, we've got four spade tricks. If clubs are 3 2, we can set up five of them. So, we've got lots of tricks, assuming that uh, the clubs are breaking. And even if clubs are 4 and 1, you're probably still fine. So, I'd win this in, in my hand. And I want to get them to switch. switch. Yeah, I want them to play hearts. So, so, so winning the jack of spades is um, is good. Let them know as much about our spade holding as possible. Should I duck this? Um, once the jack's been played, I I typically want the east hand to be on lead because yeah. east is much more likely Lead's to play a heart to play a heart than west is. Yeah, I was thinking about leading a low club. Okay. That's fine. So we're just going to keep playing clubs. You should probably throw a diamond. Because you're not that worried about them playing on diamonds. Right. We play another club. And with the terrible breaks, if they now shift... Uh, Now heart to the ace, and that's just bad luck. Not much you could do there.
53% though. So basically all in all a pretty uh, decent decent go I think. Their partner at got the uh, got to the helm twice, which sadly produced a a five heart bid on a four triple three for two percent and the random ace of diamonds lead. Yeah, anyway, uh, ended up with 57% there, which was okay. Um, could definitely have been better. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks all. Bye.